Now, I was going to briefly talk about phosphate, and I'll just briefly show you. We can use this form of analysis for phosphate production, upon which agriculture is dependent. Here's world phosphate production. Here's the Hubbard linearization. Now, according to the behavior of the system, we're about 75% of the way through the phosphate, which the world needs to survive. At least world agriculture needs. Now, there's a lot more phosphate out there, and if we were to actually produce it, we'd have to massively divert our energy into that particular area. But the system says, the behavior to date of the system says that we're almost through our phosphate production. And we saw the phosphate price go exponential until the economic crisis last year. This is a year old, this. Okay, so what are our choices? We can't do this much longer. We can't go back to this. We don't want to end up like this. And maybe if we localised our agriculture, used full recycling of our wastes to trap our phosphate and other, and other um, nutrients, we might be able to survive if we do a kind of urban agriculture. But of course, all of this is dependent upon us not increasing the food dependence, which means we have to stabilise our population. So civilizations only exist when farmers produce um, food surplus to their own needs and population growth in the face of resource depletion is suicide. I have a few recommendations here. We can talk about them later on. I'll finish with this young girl today. This is my daughter Isabella. She turns four just today. Um, she's been eating blueberries. And I look at, I, I think of the world in 2020. Let's remember this is, it's not an academic thing we're talking about here. It's talking about p personal. And we're wondering about what world are we going to leave to these children. She'll be about 14, 15 in 2020, just going into her teenage. The world will be a very, very different place. Australia will be trying to survive on a fraction of our current oil use. And I think we need to keep that foremost in our minds um, when we start planning, planning for the future. Okay, that's where I'll... I'll leave it.